A quick question. What does the great ancient mathematician Euclid and the 20th president of United States, James A. Garfield, have in common? If you try to go in the direction of, oh, they are both great nation builders, or they are both brilliant men, technically, you might be correct, but one unlikely answer is that both of them have proven the Pythagoras theorem and have a proof under their name. The Pythagoras theorem, which gives the relationships between squares of lengths of a right angle triangle, is so famous that it is taught to almost each and every school children in the world. A quick search on Google shows that there are more than 360 known proofs, but the one I'm going to show you is special for two reasons. First, it can be presented with minimal amount of words and equations, so it fits well with the YouTube video series I'm making. Secondly, you don't see US presidents nowadays having a mathematical proof under their belt, so I thought it would be rather interesting to take a look at it. If you look at the proof, we see a nicely drawn diagram with two same right angle triangles oriented differently in space. The hypotenuses of the two right angle triangles make up the side lengths of another right angle triangle. Beside the diagram, there are two written lines of equations. Without further ado, let's dive into the proof with more annotation and explanation, as before. Let's first check that the diagram itself is valid. James screamed that this angle is a right angle, but how can we see that this is indeed the case? To see this, we need to note that these two right angle triangles in green are actually exactly the same, but just differing in space by a 90 degree rotation. The reason we can be so sure is because of the triangle congruence criterion. The SSS criterion says that if two triangles share exactly three same side lengths, then they must be exactly the same, and so must share the same angles. We can do some angle chasing here. If we label angles up here as capital A, then the last angle in the same right angle triangle must be 90 minus A. Using the SSS triangle congruence criterion above, since these two right angle triangles are the same, we see that the angle bounded between sides with length A and C must be capital A. And so using the fact that angles on a straight line sums up to 180 degrees, we see that this angle is indeed the right angle. Now, we can use the old but useful trick of summing the area in the diagram in two different ways before equating them again. For the first way, we add up the areas of the three right angle triangles separately. Two of them have side lengths A and B, while the other one has side lengths C. Doing this allows us to get the expression on the left hand side of the equation. On the other hand, we can also view the diagram as a trapezium with two parallel sides, using the formula for area of trapezium, which says that area equals one half times height times sum of two parallel sides. We see that another expression for the area of the diagram is half multiplied by a plus b square. Finally, equating the two expressions for areas gives us a square plus b square equals c square after some simplification, which is exactly Pythagoras theorem. What do you think about the proof? I personally think that it is quite elegant and simple, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, we have come to the end of the video, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Until then.